<laughs> Good morning. Good morning, little dude. Had to sleep. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Today we are doing 24 hours with a newborn. So I've got this little guy here. Thought it would be fun to show you guys a full like 24 hours with Jackson. If you guys are new here, by the way, welcome. My name is Kayla and this is Jackson. Jackson is three months old. We had a pretty rough night. Almost every night is a pretty rough night because sleeping is not our strong suit over here. This little guy sleeps terribly. But it's eight o'clock, which is usually when we start our day. Like we try to keep him on a pretty decent schedule throughout the day but eight o'clock is kind of like our anchor starting point i don't typically feed him at this point because he's not usually very hungry because he's kind of been like snacking and feeding all through the night jackson sleeps oh hello jackson sleeps here in my bed because he does not sleep in a bassinet he just is a terrible sleeper if you guys watch my channel regularly you guys know that but I did have him in a swaddle last night and early this morning I unswaddled him because he was having a fit. He wanted me to like unswaddle him so that he could stretch out his arms. So if he is still in his swaddle, one of the things that I do at this point is unswaddle him, get him out of there. I have his wub and here that sometimes I'll use throughout the night to kind of soothe him. And I also always keep a burp cloth here because he spits up and I need something to clean him with. We have this new over here. The snoo so far has been quite a failure. We've only had it for like a week and a half, but he doesn't want to stay in there. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the outlet because I use the outlet at night with him. And I have like some diapers here. I have some wipes. So I'm going to change him. I also have the Hatch Baby, um, which is like a sound machine. I'm going to turn that off. diaper hi sometimes depending on what time it is like we'll just kind of like cuddle here in bed for a little while but i think he's pretty much ready to go all right so jackson let me get dressed and that means that this is what i look like today instead of just pajamas but nothing fancy because we're just gonna be home this is like my go-to mom life attire good job baby <laughs> Thanks for letting mama get ready. Yeah, we're gonna go downstairs and get breakfast ready and all of that. But before we do that, I do wanna let you guys know that today's video is a collab with my friend over here on YouTube, Wonderfully Ali. Ali's a YouTuber that I've been watching for the longest time. So I'm super happy to be collabing with her today. We just had a newborn baby boy. He is a little bit younger than Jackson. So I think he just turned two months old. So she's gonna be sharing another video, 24 hours with a newborn with her baby boy. She is a total boy mom. She's got three boys. I don't know how she does it, but I love her videos. I know that you guys are gonna I love her videos too she's super just down to earth a very cool person Allie's also a flight attendant which i think is super cool so right now she was on maternity leave but hopefully she'll be getting back to work soon so she does like a bunch of like flight attendant vlogs and i just love seeing how she juggles like motherhood with her work and stuff so make sure that you head on over to her channel all of her links will be down below in the description box make sure that you say hello tell her that you came from my channel and if you guys are here from Allie's channel Welcome, I am so happy that you guys are here. I'm so happy that I get to share this little guy with you guys. My family and I are originally from Miami. Right now we're living in Virginia. We've only been in our house for about three weeks and we're still trying to get everything settled. So if you see that stuff is a mess, that is why. We got here obviously in a very crazy time during the coronavirus and all of that. So we're doing our best to make this home our own and to just develop our routines and stuff and i also have a toddler i have riley who's two we're gonna see her downstairs in a second but it is hard it is no joke to have two little ones so let's just get on with it let's go downstairs that's usually what i will do after i get ready i don't get ready every single day but today i decided to get a little bit presentable for you guys let's go see your sister dude where's riley she's not up yet she's not up yet this is my husband joe usually he'll get riley and bring her down in the morning, but I guess... Hi, huh, you haven't heard her? She's still sleeping. All right, so while we wait for Riley anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and put him here in the mama room. This is where I usually put him in the morning so that I can get my breakfast ready. So he's gonna chill here. If he protests and he doesn't wanna be in the mama room, then I'll just sit him down on his like little tummy time mat. He can do some tummy time while we get some coffee going and while I get my breakfast.
Okay, it's 9.03. He's starting to lose his mind over here. He doesn't want to be in the mom room anymore. So I'm going to take him out. It's almost time for his first nap anyway. And Riley is up. Riley is awake. She's eating her breakfast. Good morning, Gordy. Hey, say good morning. Good morning. She's got her breakfast there. So this little guy is just about ready for his nap. Jackson's wake windows are not very long, so he can only be awake for like an hour, an hour and a half before he starts getting cranky. So usually between like 9 and 9.30 is when he goes down for his first nap. I wear him for the most part for his first nap, so I'm gonna go get the baby carrier. Since we're kind of still hanging out down here in the morning and like Riley's eating her breakfast and stuff, I will wear him for his first nap. So this is like a Lily Baby carrier. I'll link it down below. This is probably like the most convenient carrier that I use. I also have like the cloth ones, but this one's like the easiest just to like put on and like take off. So this is the one that I probably use the most often. So he loves for me to carry him. He loves being in a baby carrier. That's usually how he sleeps the best and the longest. We're trying to break him out of that cycle so that he'll sleep more like on a flat surface but for now this is how I actually get him to sleep I have like a little sound machine here that I turn on too and then we're just gonna rock him kind of bounce him to sleep then that'll be his first nap all right so Jackson is starting to wake up that was an hour and two minute nap. I have this Huckleberry app that I use to like track all his stuff. So I will link it down for you guys in case you guys are looking for like a good tracking app. So an hour and two minutes. But we've just been hanging out. I got some work done. I was able to send some emails because when he is in the carrier, I can't like sit down. I have to be standing up. So I'll use that time to just kind of, what are you looking for? Puzzle. Your puzzle? Yeah, I'll use that time to kind of just tidy up the kitchen, clean up a little bit. I'll play with Riley, but that is Jackson's first nap of the day, and now I've got to feed him. So I am breastfeeding him, so I'm going to sit down here on the couch and just nurse him for a little bit and get him his first feed of the day. Oh. Hey, cutie. This is what it's like when I'm trying to feed him and she wants to be all up on me. Hi, Gordy. What are you doing? Eating leche. Yeah, he's eating leche. Look at her, all up in his business. He just finished eating. So now we're just gonna hang out here and play for a little while. Oh, he looks for her. <laughs> so yeah, it's still early. It's still like uh, 10.36, so we're gonna hang out and play with Riley's toys. I'll put him down on his little tummy time mat. And we'll just like hang out here for a little while, probably put on a show or something and just chill. Okay, so it's time for Jackson's next nap. So we're coming upstairs so I can work on getting him to sleep and Riley can go play in her room over there. This is Jackson's room right now. It's not really set up because we just haven't had a chance to set it up yet since we don't even have his furniture, but we do have a little changing table for him. So before I put him down for his nap, I'm gonna change his diaper. It's 11.47 by the way. It's okay, go. Do I know you're getting sleepy. You're getting sleepy. We've been struggling big time with nap time and just with sleep in general. So I'm gonna try to put him down in the snoo and I'll show you how I do that. I have to rock him to sleep first. 
So I'm gonna try to do that. If it doesn't work out, then I'm gonna see if he'll just sleep in the bed and I'll show you how that is. But if you're looking for like a perfect routine with like a child that just sleeps in his bassinet, like an angel baby, this is not that video because my child doesn't sleep. So obviously you have to use your own judgment, do your own research about how babies should sleep, what's the safe way for them to sleep. But we just do things a little bit differently because my child doesn't sleep. Sleep. I can watch him in the monitor so I'll just like take this with me and just kind of watch him look at that he's already moving are you kidding me this is literally what I go through every single nap so this is just insane very frustrating and it looks like I don't know he was moving I don't know if he's gonna wake up or not but this is what it looks like if I'm trying to get him to actually sleep somewhere that is not the carrier and the carrier he does great but he doesn't like to sleep in the snoo, in the halo. We had the halo before. He wouldn't stay even for like a few minutes. So I'm just going to keep trying to get him to sleep because it does look like he's moving. It does look like he's waking up. So I'm going to go back up there, try to keep doing the same thing that I just showed you until he takes his nap. And if after a while he doesn't stay, then I'm just going to give up and he's just going to miss his nap. Okay, so the little dude did finally go to sleep. Let's see how long his nap was. The nap was for 29 minutes, which is pretty average for him. 30 minutes and he's awake. I had to change the position of the pillows and he fell asleep after I moved him. So at least I was able to eat my lunch while he was here sleeping. Now we can unswaddle him. This is the swaddle that comes with the snoo. These are awesome swaddles. And then one of the things that I try to do is I try to fold up a little towel so that his legs are kind of a little bit more secure. I don't know, that's like a tip that they said might be helpful. Hey, bud. 
Is that a nice nap? So it's 12.50 now. So like I said, I just finished eating lunch. I had lunch downstairs with Riley. So now it has been like two hours and 40 minutes around there since he last ate. He hasn't been quite making it to the three hour mark. So I'm gonna go downstairs and feed him. You see he's putting his hands in his mouth because he's hungry. You hungry, bud? No time to eat again? Riley's over here and she's in his car seat. That's nice. Are you watching Little Mermaid? She's been watching Little Mermaid with me while we were eating our lunch. Yeah, Joe had put this towel on so that she wouldn't make a mess because she was eating her lunch on that little table. I'm gonna feed Jackson here. waking up being super cranky i told you every time that he wakes up from the carrier he's cranky but this nap was 36 minutes long so it is now 3 17 and it's almost time for him to eat his next meal but i'm gonna take him out of here and then we're gonna go get riley because she's been taking a nap upstairs in her crib so we're here in riley's room we're gonna hang out for a little while i put jackson in the crib for a second so i could go get my phone <laughs> hi gordo we're gonna play and hang out, and then in a little while, Jackson's gonna eat. You're gonna show him your toys? He loves this little ball. It has like all these sides. He holds it, he likes it, makes him happy. This is actually an entire bin of toys that we had saved for Jackson, and Riley is <laughs> taking them all. Like this stuff he got for Christmas, but he was like, I don't know, like a week old, two weeks old or something like that. So he got that, he got this one. And then these are some that Riley had. If you guys want, I will link to a few. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> I'll link to a few of his favorite toys in the description box. These little cubes are really good too because they have contrasting colors and they like make all these little crinkle noises. So he likes these. So we're just gonna sit here and play for a little while. I would be up waiting for you if you had to leave. We're just hanging out here. I think it's time to feed this guy, so I'm gonna sit on the chair over there on Riley's rocker, see if I feed him. By the way, I don't know if I've said it, but Joe is here because he's working from home. It's the only reason why he's here right now. I guess you're on a lunch break. <laughs> This little dude is done eating, but I'm gonna take him next door and change his diaper because last nap when I put him in the carrier, I was in such a rush that I forgot to change his diaper and he is all wet. So let's go get you a fresh diaper. I'll usually change his diaper right before I put him down for a nap or right before I put him in the carrier so he's not like sitting on pee, but I forgot. Let's do this. By the way, we use the Pampers diapers. We always have with both of my kids. We love the Pampers diapers, so that's what I use. And then these are just like Pampers sensitive wipes. I don't know if you guys have seen these before, but this is what we order on Amazon. We get them every month. I'm actually 
actually gonna change this little dude because he's been in his PJs all day long, which normally he is in his PJs all day long, but today I think I'm gonna dress him up in something. Okay, I'm gonna put him in this little onesie. And now we have a dressed little baby. Just put on these like little light pants on him so he's not cold. And then I'll take this. I have like a little brush that I use to brush his hair, even though it's like all falling off. He's so cute. Have your dirty clothes always all full of spit up, so his hamper is here. This is also like a basket that we keep here at the top of the stairs where I put like all the diapers and stuff, and then at the end of the day, we take it downstairs, so that's like our little system right now. All right, we've been hanging out here in the family room for a little while. It is 4.45, and it is time for his next nap, so I'm gonna take him upstairs and see if he will nap, and then I'll check back in with you guys later. So that lasted a whole 17 minutes, but I have a feeling it's because we have our deck being built right now and there's like super loud noise outside. So that doesn't help, but let me go get him. But at least he was on his back for a little while. So that's a win in my book. Okay, it's like six o'clock now. I moved Jackson's mat over here so that we can eat dinner and be able to see him. So Riley is over here having her dinner. Joe and I are gonna sit over there. He's finishing getting everything ready. We're gonna sit down and eat, and then as soon as we're done eating, Jackson needs to eat. Look at this little dude, grabbing his toys. He actually let us eat. I'm so, so happy we were able to finish our dinner. So now it's like 6.20. I'm gonna feed him, cause he's due for a feed. So I'm gonna bring him to the couch. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know Hey cutie pie! Hi baby! Had such a good day, I don't wanna jinx it but he's just been like a really, really not so fussy baby today which is not usually the case. Minus the not sleeping, he's done a really good job today. Now that he's done eating, before I forget, I'm gonna give him his two vitamins. Well, one is a vitamin, one's a probiotic. So he takes Trivisal. This is like a vitamin, it's got vitamins A, C, and D. So I'm gonna give him this, and then I also give him just a probiotic. Right now we're taking the Culturel Baby, and it's not gonna focus on either one of these but that's what we've been giving him. So I try to do it either first thing in the morning or at nighttime, like right before bed, like sometime in the evening. So I'm gonna give it to him now before I forget. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. All right, it is seven o'clock and it is time to give Jackson a bath. I give Jackson a bath like every other day. I don't usually do it every single day, but today he is super stingy because he's been spitting up all over the place and he needs a bath. So I'm gonna get this guy in the tub. I usually try to bathe him like right before Riley gets in the bathtub. So it's a very quick bath, but at least he gets nice and clean. If the wind could spread your love What if your sweetness could reach everyone There'd be no wars mm -hmm. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart Maybe the trees will whisper the word Maybe the sun will spread your joy To the ones who lost their hope Now look at that handsome boy. It's a handsome boy. He's all ready for bed now. It's not technically bedtime because he doesn't have this early of a bedtime. He kind of does like a nap before bedtime. So we're gonna go ahead and get him down. Let's see if he will do the same thing. Let's see if he'll sleep in the snow or if he'll sleep in my bed. But it is about 7.15 now. And this is when we try for his like last nap while Joe is bathing Riley. So 
like you guys saw he's asleep which is a huge win i think he was really tired since his previous nap was only like 17 minutes so he's down for a nap this nap usually doesn't last very long but um this gives me some time to like go downstairs clean up the downstairs or sometimes like i'll throw a load of laundry and i just kind of like clean up for the night while he's doing this little nap and then later on in the evening is when he's like actually down for bed but for now, it's just a quick little nap, so let me go do some things before he wakes up. And that was 22 minutes. Little man is awake. It's okay, it's okay. I'll get you out of here. able to get a little bit of laundry done i was able to put some stuff away so now we are gonna go say good night to riley i'm gonna go to riley's room say good night to big sis <laughs> he's like cracking up at riley <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea why he's laughing. <laughs> Alright, Riley is finally ready for bed. Yeah, we like to at least just come and say goodnight to Riley before she goes to sleep. Hey, no. can I have a kiss? Mm. Say night night, friend? Night night, friend. You want to give him a big kiss? Give him a nice little kiss. Oh, mm. that's so nice. Thank you, Riley. Night night. So it's eight o'clock now. He's not gonna last much longer before like he goes to bed. But I'm gonna try to see if I can take a quick shower. Usually this is when look he's already super tired. But this is usually when I will attempt to jump in the shower and get right back out. So I'm gonna put him down in the bouncer that I have here in the bathroom. See if he'll let me take a like super 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 quick shower. <laughs> He at least let me take a super quick shower. I wasn't able to wash my hair or anything, but just a quick shower. It's 8.10 and I'm gonna feed him here in bed. And then see if he'll go to sleep. dude hey guys so it's the next morning it's like 8 15 now and jackson finally woke up jackson did sleep in my bed last night and i did not sleep at all because it was a very rough night he kept waking up non-stop the entire night i didn't film it today like in this video because it's exhausting to film because he doesn't just wake up like two or three times a night he was constantly waking up so i can't turn on the camera in the middle of the night like 14 times if you guys want to see what our nights look like i did film a while ago like an overnight routine so i'm going to link it down below in the description box that shows me waking up in the middle of the night and all of that and it kind of gives you an idea of what i have to deal with the biggest difference between what we're doing now and that video is that number one i'm just nursing him at night and i'm not pumping and i'm not giving him bottles and i'm not even attempting to put him in the bassinet he's just like like in my bed we are gonna continue to try to put him in the snoo for overnight but you guys saw like just it 
just does not work sometimes. You ready to go downstairs and start the day? That's gonna be it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing what a whole day looks like with a newborn. It is rough. It is rough to spend an entire day with a newborn, especially if you have other kids. It is the hardest thing I've ever done in my entire life, but obviously it's so rewarding. This little cutie makes it all worth it. So I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to go watch Ali's video, which will be linked down in the description. See what her 24 hours look like. That's gonna be it, because I gotta get my day started. So one more time, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.